Here's a super simple, super cheap trick that can allow you to track down a transmitter on VHF or UHF, even with a simple cheap receiver like this Baofeng handheld. Right now, we're very close to the transmitter. It's about two milliwatts on 434 megahertz. Even if I remove the antenna, there's still enough RF floating around to pick up a strong signal. And I can go a fair way away and still hear it with no antenna. The problem is these handheld receivers don't have particularly good RF shielding. Neither do they have an attenuator. So you need to make one yourself. The best form of attenuator is a metal case that completely encloses the transceiver. And you also want to introduce a bit of coupling to the antenna when the attenuation is too much. And so I present to you this super simple biscuit tin attenuator. Drop your Baofeng into one and you'll be able to track down signals really close to the transmitter. That could be handy if you're trying to track down interference or you're doing a radio club fox hunt or maybe showing radio direction finding off to youth groups. All you need for that is a small, simple UHF transmitter. Don't even need a license. I've got more about that in another video. Some Baofeng handhelds for the receiver and this super simple biscuit tin attenuator. So we need to introduce a bit of coupling to the outside world and that's what this hole does. Just put your finger in and it acts as an antenna. Not only that, but it's also an attenuator. The further away you move it, the less the pickup because there's so little capacitance. And ideally you want your finger to be lining up with the antenna socket which you might be able to see just inside. So if you can, it's probably a good idea to have a bit of anchorage for the transceiver. If you're going to make this permanent, you want some anchoring, maybe a bit of foam plastic to put the transceiver so that the antenna connection is right in the middle of the can. Then, when you put the lid on, it aligns. Now you can get right up close to the transmitter. In fact, there's the antenna there. And you'll be able to attenuate a lot. The great thing about it is the attenuator is variable. So right now I'm getting a signal with the finger about four or five centimeters from the antenna socket on the receiver. But if I move it further away, like about a meter, then it's a closer distance. Now with the transmitter about three meters from the receiver, I need to be in much, much further. I need to be almost touching the antenna socket. So we've effectively created a variable attenuator just from this biscuit tin. Now here, I've got my finger almost all the way out and I'm still hearing a signal. So we must be really, really close. Uh, we'll just move it a bit. And it might be even more of a signal here. And we just have a look around and have a dig. And what is this? These pine needles are really sharp. Anyway, there is something foreign here. A plastic box. 
and it's got a flashing light. Yep, that's the transmitter. That's it, a super simple biscuit tin RF attenuator. Have a look in your kitchen to see if you've got a spare one, or go down to the shops and enjoy the contents. With the Baofeng handheld, you too will have a setup suitable for tracking down VHF and UHF signals.